Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today I, we have day 5 of our current growth and things are just up and down all over the place. Let me come in a little bit closer and give you guys a little bit better of an angle so you can see what the plants are looking like. If you want to check out the previous episode, you'll see what the plants looked like 3 days ago. And in just 3 days of running this system, as well as these new light bulbs here, things are doing really well man um, the heat levels are nice and low the plants are loving it you can see there's just beautiful growth all over the place let me zoom in look at this gorgeous looking lettuce right there it's just maybe like it looks like maybe three or four different types of seeds at once um, so we have a nice little assortment over here the basil lettuce leaves are looking really good guys it does not look really it I mean it does look like like basil but it looks like lettuce at the same time I don't know it's really really interesting and the smell is phenomenal so I got I think six of those going at the moment so really excited for those these rocky lettuces are doing really well that's the assortment lettuce a um, couple of negative things that I'm noticing starting out basically with the water down here being that you have these slits going around basically the raft board here as well as these notches where you put your finger in to like lift things up and down um, so since it is exposed I'm definitely gonna get algae growth within probably about another week or two unless I do something about it we'll talk about how I'm gonna clean that up but look at these roots man in three days I have basically all of these plants are showing nice signs of root growth and things are doing really really well I'm noticing, however, because it's this little raft, since I do have the air stone going there, I still have to replace that for a bigger air stone. It's causing these little bubbles that are happening along the edges here and along the sides. So every so often I do see a little bubble pop up, which is really strange at first. But, you know, that's not really going to cause much issues, I think, um, besides this little discoloration. So you could just kind of come in with a tissue and clean that right up. You could see that comes right off. It's just a little dirt. So that's doing really well, guys. Another issue I'm noticing that's happening is if I zoom in, you could see at the very tip of these grow cubes, um, it's starting to develop little signs of, of mold. You can see the right here, the very, very tip. Let me see if I can find a better example. There we go. So right here, guys, you can see what I'm talking about. Down right here, this little thing. So that's new. That wasn't there before. It's supposed to be just nice and brown. You can see it comes right off and I don't know I've never really seen that type of color before so what I'm noticing is <coughs> uh, excuse me and thank you for those of you you know what I'm talking about so yeah excuse me guys uh, so yeah so what I'm noticing is happening basically is these cubes are way too moist if I just squeeze it look at how much moisture just comes out right there so I think the reason why that's happening is the grow cubes are a little bit too low for the grow space here um, you could see that they're puncturing downwards basically about maybe like a quarter of an inch maybe half an inch or so and this whole board is about I think an inch thick only so this grow cube is I think two inches it looks like so most likely it should have been probably about one inch maybe an inch and a half would have been fine because this way it should have been flush I think with the bottom here and this way the roots only grow downwards and the grow cube gets a chance to dry out once the roots start growing down um, so what I'm gonna do basically to try to solve that um, you could already see this one is looking a little bit more dry what I did was just I just kinda came in and I started pulling things up a little bit since this is kind of like my first time growing in this type of setup everything is a little bit of a trial and error especially right now when, when things are in the first early stages so just pulling it up you can see things pull up really quickly and easily and just doing that it looks like it's already about halfway up from where it used to be so let's see pulling that up it did pull up quite a bit uh, let me show you guys a little bit of a better ex example this way you can see a nice little angle so I have a ton more to pull up I think that should solve the issue um, as far as the algae growth, I'm probably going to put like maybe like a little tarp or something just along the edges here going around. Um, I have no clue how to secure it yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Other than that, things are doing well. 
Um, this is the, this, the thing that I was talking about with the bubbling. It was coming up over here, and it bubbles up, and it just kind of squirts up this way. Doesn't seem to be affecting anything at all besides doing that. And now that the levels are dropping a little bit, it looks like the plants are drinking here and there's something. So, because I can see the initial level dropped slightly. Yeah, that I'm going to have to take care of that somehow. Um, but let me just show you guys. You can see. You can see it comes right off. So, not too much, but you could just see, that, just an example, how fast algae will most likely set on unless it's quickly taken care of. And. The pak choys are looking great. The lettuces are looking really, really healthy right now. And things looking good. Beautiful looking colors right now going on. So I'm going to try to pull up all these grow cubes here. What I did to for future growth is to try to fix this problem is I'm going to I'm not going to be using these grow cubes. I'm going to I found these grow cubes by Oasis. So we'll try using that. See if that works. If that doesn't work, we're going back to back to the drawing board to figure something out. Or what I could honestly what I could do also is I could take one of these grow cubes. Let me just show you guys. Just an example. Let's just kinda grab one so you could see it's nice and long. You could just basically just come in and take this this part off. Cut off maybe like half an inch or maybe even like half of it. So for example if I just Let's just rip it right there. So you can see it's pretty much, that's kind of the size of the Oasis Grow Cubes that I'm going to get. And when I'm putting this these types of cubes in the grow system, in the wrap system here, essentially it's going to just basically sit right here like this. So nice and flush. And everything downwards below the raft will be floating roots. So that's the idea, guys, that I have going on. Things are trial and error. I'm waiting for things to get to get going. Tomato plant is all over the place. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But things are off to a good start, guys. I'm going to turn the lights back on. I'm going to drop my, my little curtain here back down. This way the lights don't blind me when I'm just walking around the kitchen. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back soon for more.